Insects, the most diverse group of animals on Earth, have undergone remarkable evolutionary adaptations. From tiny ants to huge dragonflies, insects have evolved and diversified over 350 million of years. The evolutionary success of insects can be attributed to their ability to adapt to changing environments and exploit diverse food sources. They are arguably the most crucial group for life on Earth. They serve as the primary pollinators and form the foundation of the food chain for most terrestrial animals. Their decline is the worst thing that could happen to the planet's biomass. Springtails form the largest lineage of modern hexapods that are not really considered insects. There are about 3,600 different species. They are omnivorous, free-living organisms that prefer moist conditions. They do not directly engage in the decomposition of organic matter, but contribute to it indirectly through the fragmentation of organic matter and the control of soil microbial communities. Members of the columbula are normally less than 6 mm long, have 6 or fewer abdominal segments, and possess a tubular appendage with reversible, sticky vesicles, projecting ventrally from the first abdominal segment. Pogonognathelis longicornis is a common species of columbula. It is identified by the empodium's filament reaching beyond the claw of the foot. It is gray-brown with blue pigment on the femur. It is approximately 9 mm long with long antennae that curl in an unusual spiral shape when touched. The silverfish is a species of small, primitive wingless insect, its common name derives from the insect's silvery light gray color, combined with the fish-like appearance of its movements. They evolved at the latest in mid-Divonian and possibly as early as late Silurian more than 400 million years ago. Today they are considered household pests, due to their consumption and destruction of property, but they do not transmit disease. Meganeura is an extinct genus of giant dragonfly-like insects that lived during the Carboniferous period, it was one of the largest flying insects to have ever existed, with an estimated wingspan ranging from 60 to 70 centimeters the way oxygen is diffused through the insect's body via its tracheal breathing system puts an upper limit on body size, which prehistoric insects seem to have well exceeded. Meganeura was able to fly only because the atmosphere of Earth at that time contained more oxygen than the present. The beautiful demoiselle prefers habitats near rivers, streams, and other freshwater bodies with clean and flowing water. They are commonly found in forested areas, especially in shaded and cool environments. They are agile flyers and can often be seen near water bodies, perching on vegetation or flying over the water surface. It is considered an iconic species of damselfly, known for its aesthetic beauty and ecological importance in freshwater ecosystems. Most odonates are semi-aquatic as juveniles. Thus, adults are most often seen near bodies of water and are frequently described as aquatic insects. They are insectivorous throughout their life. They can act as bioindicators of water quality in rivers because they rely on high-quality water for proper development in early life. Since their diet consists entirely of insects, odonate density is directly proportional to the population of prey, and their abundance indicates the abundance of prey in the examined ecosystem.
Mesotheros is the largest known member of the order Paleodictyoptera, a group of insects characterized by their distinctive beak-like mouthparts, which featured elongated sharp piercing mouthparts and possibly had a sucking pump-like organ that they would have used to pierce plant tissues and drink their liquids. The group is also known for the pair of winglets on prothorax in front of the first pair of wings of its members, which gave them the epithet of six-winged insects. Stenodictia has the same body plan, but is just a little bit smaller. These ancient insects likely occupied diverse habitats, including forests and wetland environments. They are believed to have been primarily herbivorous, feeding on various types of plants. Manoblata is one of the early cockroaches, and during the Carboniferous period, forests at that time saw a particularly prosperous period for insects, especially cockroaches. It is characterized by its remarkably large wings and is said to be a cockroach species with excellent flying abilities. Cockroaches are popularly thought to be an ancient order of insects, with their origins in the Carboniferous. However, since the middle of the 20th century it has been known that the primitive cockroach insects found fossilized in Paleozoic strata are the forerunners not only of modern cockroaches and termites but also of mantises. Gerreris is believed that this species inhabited a wetland near a river mouth during the late Carboniferous. It is thought to have a relationship with the ancestors of crickets and grasshoppers. One prominent feature is its swollen prothorax, which was covered in thick spines. Protophasma is said to be the common ancestor of cockroaches, mantises, and walking sticks. It appears similar to a giant cockroach, but unlike modern-day cockroaches, it has a small head and a slightly elongated body. Differences can be observed in the shape of its mouth and legs. It inhabited tropical forests and is believed to have been carnivorous in nature. Same thing can be said about the Tenoptilus that lived in what is now China. This earwig was endemic to St. Helena, being found on plains of the island. Growing as large as 8 cm long, it was the world's largest earwig. The exact cause of its extinction is not well documented, but it is believed to have been driven to extinction due to a combination of factors like habitat loss, introduced predators, and human activities. Desert locusts are characterized by their distinctive appearance and behavior. They have a robust body with a length ranging from 2 to 7 cm. They have strong hind legs that are adapted for jumping, allowing them to cover long distances quickly. They have a voracious appetite and feed on a wide range of plant species. During periods of population increase, known as an outbreak, they can cause significant damage to agricultural fields, leading to food insecurity and economic losses. The great green bush cricket has a long slender body, which is characterized by a cylindrical shape. 
It has well-developed hind legs that enable it to jump and move swiftly through its environment. It is carnivorous and arboreal. Unlike grasshoppers, it is essentially active in day and night, as testified by its endless crepuscular and nocturnal singing. The species can bite painfully but is not particularly aggressive. Sea ferox is a nocturnal predatory cricket that preys on other insects found at the bottom of the rainforest. Like other Stenopalmatidae species, it usually hides in its burrow during the day. At night, it comes out from its burrow and searches for prey like spiders, grasshoppers, and other crickets. While the leaf grasshopper is not considered a harmful or destructive species, its large size, bright colors, and unique behavior make it a fascinating and easily identifiable and a good example of natural mimic for camouflage. It has distinctive and clumsy movement. But despite its limited mobility, this grasshopper is well adapted to its environment and can climb vegetation using its strong legs. Even though horsehead grasshopper closely resembles a stick insect, it appears to be actually a type of grasshopper. Its appearance allows it to camouflage in vegetation, an example of evolutionary convergence with stick insects, which are known to use the same survival technique to evade their predators. The European mantis has a slender and elongated body, typically measuring around 5 to 7 centimeters in length as an adult. It is characterized by its prominent triangular head, large compound eyes, and powerful forelegs adapted for capturing prey. It is a highly visual predator that employs a sit-and-wait hunting strategy, hiding among vegetation, then striking rapidly when prey comes within reach. During the mating season, the female European mantis is known for its cannibalistic behavior, sometimes consuming the male after or even during copulation. This behavior is believed to provide the female with additional nutrition to support the development of her eggs. Boxer mantis is a common name given to various species of praying mantis. The name comes from the way these mantises move their oversized grasping forelimbs as they communicate with each other. When they encounter one another, they rapidly tremble their forelimbs, displaying the patterned interior faces to each other and waving them in slow arcs. This is believed to be a way of preventing member of the same species from eating each other. Orchid mantis shows some of the most pronounced sized sexual dimorphism of any species of mantis, males can be less than half the size of females. The female predatory selection is the likely driving force behind the development of the extreme sexual size dimorphism. Prior to development of its camouflage, the female mantis implements ambush predation to allow it to hunt larger pollinating insects. The mantis can change its color between pink and brown, according to the color of the background. The giant Malaysian stick mantis is a fascinating and unique insect, known for its impressive size, intricate camouflage, and predatory behavior. It uses its powerful forelegs to capture and grasp its prey, and then devours it with its strong mandibles. Females have relatively short wings and reduced flying abilities, 
while males have longer wings and are more adept at flying. Spiny leaf insects are incapable of bites and stings and rely solely on passive defense and camouflage. Some predators have good vision, and can see the most camouflaged animals. When threatened, they assume an aggressive posture such as rearing up. They are herbivores and although they thrive on eucalyptus which is the main plant of their ecosystems. It makes use of both passive and active camouflage. It adopts a curved pose when it hangs inverted amongst foliage with its highly procryptic abdomen curled over its back. Giant Malaysian leaf insect are found most abundantly in the West Malaysian tropics. The females typically have large elytra that lie edge to edge on the abdomen and tend to lack hind wings making them usually flightless. Males have small elytra and sometimes transparent non-leaf-like functional hind wings. They develop their green color after feeding on leaves. Both the adult and larval stages are phytophagous meaning they feed on plants. The main plant food sources for this species are oak and bramble tree leaves.